नमस्कार एंड वेलकम वंस अगेन टू माय शो फ्रॉम पैन टू प्लेट सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू मेक ड्राई चैट फूड रेसिपी सो लेट्स हैव अ क्विक ग्लांस एट द इंग्रेडिएंट्स वन टेबल स्पून ऑफ रेड चिल्ली पाउडर वन टीस्पून गरम मसाला वन टीस्पून टर्मरिक पाउडर वन टेबल स्पून कोरिएंडर पाउडर वन टेबल स्पून ऑफ चॉप्ड जिंजर थ्री मीडियम साइज चॉप्ड टमाटोस Four medium-sized chopped onion, few curry leaves, one tablespoon ginger garlic paste, one fourth teaspoon asafoetida, salt to taste, one teaspoon cumin seeds, few bay leaves, cloves, and black peppercorn, one tablespoon oil. This oil will be used during cutting the jackfruit. Half a cup of water, five hundred grams of young jackfruit. refine oil so let's cut the jackfruit apply oil on the knife as well as on your palm to avoid the stickiness let's cut the jackfruit in medium size The center portion of jackfruit I am using in this recipe. So the cutting has been completed. Let's start with shallow frying. Pan is preheated and kept at medium mode. Add six to seven tablespoon of refined oil. Once the oil is heated, add jackfruit. Mix it. Add one teaspoon of salt. Mix it again and cover it with a lid and cook for another 15 minutes on slow flame and do stir at a regular interval of time. So it's been five minutes. Let's give a stir. Jackfruit has started turning brown and soft. Let's cook for another 10 minutes. So it's been 15 minutes. Jackfruit has turned brownish in color and more soft. Let's transfer it in a plate. In the same pan, let's add generous amount of oil and keep the flame on medium. Once the oil is heated, let's add asafoetida, cumin seeds, add bay leaves, clove and peppercorn. Mix it. Add curry leaf. Add chopped onion. and cook till they are brown in color once the onion turns brown in color add chopped tomatoes and cover it with a lid and cook for next 2 minutes so it's been 2 minutes tomatoes have turned tender add chopped ginger ginger garlic paste mix it add coriander powder turmeric powder red chili powder garam masala and mix it keep the flame on slow mode add salt as per the taste and let it simmer for 1 minute with closed lid So it's been a minute. The dry masala is cooked properly. Now it's time to add soft and tender shallow fried jackfruit and mix it properly. Just sprinkle little water and let it cook for another 5 minutes on slow flame with closed lid. So 
so it's been five minutes oh my goodness the aroma of the masala is coming superb it seems as if i made some non-veg recipe jackfruit has turned so tender so the dry masala jackfruit is ready to go from pan to plate So let's garnish with chopped coriander leaf, sliced onion, mango pickle. The taste of the dry masala jackfruit is very much similar to dry mutton recipe. I hope you like the recipe. Thank you very much for watching my channel from pan to plate.